guys, as some of you may already know, we are currently living in Mexico City doing monthly stay. And this is our weekend away from the city for Mexican architecture getaway at Nido de Quetzalcoatl by Mexican architect Javier Senocian. The name of the place means Nest of the Quetzalcoatl, the mythical creature referred as feathered serpent of ancient Mesoamerican culture. Architect Javier Senocian is known for his organic architecture which is a philosophy of architecture promotes harmony between human habitation and the nature. With these two ideas combined, this apartment complex was built on a large land up on the hills with the shape of a snake along with the beautiful nature surrounding itself. This place is private property so you can only book through Airbnb to visit and we got so lucky with one spot open this weekend so, so we're here. Let me show you around this magical place we stayed for the weekend. Okay. Guys, we just came to a really weird, really interesting Airbnb. It's supposed to be the uh, Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl? <laughs> I think these are like all like units here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. And then you have to, to, to I think it's over there. Wow, actually, what's in here? Oh, wow. Another unit. It's a good number. It's like seven. Mmm, I see. I see. Mm. Uh, things are happening here. Construction. It's like it's a shopping cart. <laughs> wow, look at this. Okay, we met some, uh, we thought we were going to be in this Airbnb by ourselves, but we're here with... I'm happy. Yeah, it's good. It's not as creepy, but it's like some Japanese architect is here. It's pretty cool. And Yanemi's like whooping out her Japanese, her, her Spanish. It's nuts. Let's do this. There was another group checked in at the same time as us, staying at the other unit available in this complex. They were visiting from Japan, and since I spoke a little Japanese, we began to talk and decided to allow each other to visit the other unit, since each unit have different interior and structure. So this I'm showing now is not our unit we stayed, but this is the another unit that is available to book on Airbnb for this place as well. This unit had three four stories that you could access with stairs and each floor had different rooms. Yeah, we still haven't seen our own uh, Airbnb room. We see number, we see someone else's, but not ours. Um, oh yeah. I really like this. You probably want to see the whole house too, which I agree, because uh, it, it wasn't very clearly marked in the Airbnb. Yeah. Okay. So we saw it. That's great. Okay. 
so if you guys are into Harry Potter, this place is like like S Slytherin Central. A lot of snakes, a lot of snaky things. It's hard to see here, but look at this one. This is a snake. Man. up to the uh, room. So we finally enter our home for the weekend. Welcome to our casa! Finally, construction sound has died down. Hello. <laughs> we haven't, I haven't um, recorded for food in a while. But we ordered... Yeah, we ordered rapi. <laughs> it's like... It's a really weird... Cool oh, Airbnb. Mm, I was gonna say... Street tacos. <laughs> street tacos. Shopping with street tacos delivered. It's crazy life here. <laughs> it's a beautiful <laughs> Airbnb. The next day in the morning, we had a private tour by our guide Gabriel in the Parque Quetzalcoatl. Parque Quetzalcoatl is a huge park next to Nido by same architect Javier Sinocian which is still under construction at the moment. It's not open to public yet, but when you book to stay at Nido, you will get exclusive access to the park with a private tour either English or Spanish. This park is extended project of Javier to create a broader space to connect with the nature more deeply. This was my favorite part of the tour. It's called the Plant Kingdom. It's basically the functional greenhouse carefully thought out to grow beautiful local plants. And the ambience of this place is just like a fantasy movie.
The park tour ends back at Nido in the in-house museum of Javier Senosian. Ooh, this is this is the museum part of the of the of the house. Ooh, you get a lot of exercise here, by the way. Ooh. So this, I think, opens certain hours. Night time they close it, but just come in during your stay. Look at all this. Past pre present projects that Javier did. Yeah. Amazing. This is us after taking previous Instagram reel video I just shared. Just want to show a little behind the scene. It's been officially a, a day since we got, got here yesterday. We're going to Secret Garden. Where's the kitchen? Can you show me the kitchen too? That's in the, it's like actually the back. Oh, I see. Yeah, like a fully decked out kitchen. I just didn't see it, so I'm just curious. This cave... Excuse you. Cave is darker than you look. I mean, yeah. this, this, when you do video and photo, it just looks kind of brighter. They said this... This is a natural cave. They kind of enforced like just for the safety, but they kept this cave thing. Ooh, see, it's like very dark there. Is this secret garden? This is secret garden? Oh. It's like up near the park. Oh. This fence is. This is this is sacred garden. This is just some like I don't know what they call this it. This is residential garden. Party garden. <laughs> yep, fiesta garden, jardin de fiesta. So now I'll give you a full detailed tour of our unit we stayed in. When you enter the unit, we are given the slippers we can wear inside only. Unlike any other homes in Mexico, since Mexican people do wear shoes inside. But we're Asian, so we really like this indoor slippers were provided. Through the hallway straight in, there are four bedrooms in this unit. This is the first room with the desk, closet, and one twin size bed. I'm opening the blinder that is made to fit into these unique round windows. And the view from the room looks out towards the front garden of the Nido. This wall is all built in closet, and I think it's a great usage of the space. On the main hallway, there's open sink for the bathroom, which is on the both side of the sink and these two bathrooms have a toilet and a shower. Another room had bunk bed, probably made for kids, with corner desk and wall closet as well. Obviously, we just did not use this room at all. In the corner next to the bathroom is another big room with queen-size bed. Also with desk and also did not use this room since we are only party of two.
This is the master bedroom we actually use to sleep. This room is the biggest room among all four rooms in the unit. Hello, it's me. And this was my favorite part of the room, which is this beautiful little window nook to be comfortable with and this sofa slash cushions that they installed here are very comfortable. This bedding was super soft and bed itself was also very comfy to sleep in. And the other side of the corner is the master bathroom with more wall closets and these closets look like a locker room and Korean public bathhouse. This is the biggest bathroom of the unit but the sink is also outside. I think it's kind of I think it's like a Mexican thing. I've seen that a lot around this area. And this is the living room area where you get really nice natural light in the afternoon and have the Noguchi coffee table, my dream. And this is the built-in light system in the dining and living room area, shaped really unique. And that's it. Hope you enjoy my little tour of our stay. And the last morning, we are making breakfast before we are leaving. Overall, it was the most unique Airbnb we ever stayed and also the most unique experience we ever had. Highly recommend to book this place if you love a beautiful architectures. And thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.